Hi guys, it's Karen again and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to make an eye look using my least favorite colors from my favorite eyeshadow palettes. I have Wet n Wild, I have Foucalor Paris, I have BH Cosmetics Beautiful in Barcelona, another full color, so hot, uh, Anastasia Riviera, and I have Anastasia Soft Glam. So I'm going to create a look using the least favorite uh, from this palette. It's going to be a big challenge. Then I'm going to prime my eyes. I'm using this by Essence, the You Better Work eye primer. It's a gym waterproof uh, primer. I'm going to use it with my finger, taking a little bit and putting it on. I see that it's very creamy. It's very different from the other eye primer that I have from Essence. Very, very different. It's watery. It's very different from the other primer, as I said. It's more moisturizing. And then priming, I hope it's going to do a good job. I'm starting with the eyes, just because I'm going to probably make a very bold look. And I don't want to have fallout all over my face, but I will do the brows first and I'm using my favorite by Focolor called Brows in the color 02. I'm taking an angle brush and as usual I'm starting uh, with the most impact of color in the outer section of my eyebrow like so okay I'm back with my brows <laughs> air visible finally okay so I'm going to use this four color so hot palette and I'm using my least favorite color for transition this color this bright blue skyline at the beginning when I bought this palette, I was sure this is going to be the color that I will love the most. And it turns out I don't like it at all. So I'll use it as transition, even though it's normally not used as a transition. But we're breaking the rules today, so we're allowed. Well, the eye primer is sticky, that's definitely, I can definitely say about the eye primer. It's new, this is the second time I've used it, and first time was a disaster, and I think that was my fault for using a wipe to clean up my hand and then dipping my hand in the primer. That wasn't a very good idea. So it's supposed to be transition color, but it's very, very strong and pigmented, as you can see. And um, we'll make it work, don't worry. It's definitely not color that I would choose for transition when I'm doing my makeup. Whew, wow, okay. <laughs> Some kind of transition color. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, okay. So let's dig in for the BH Cosmetics. Beautiful in Barcelona. And I said before that I really don't like these three colors here. 
they're too dark and I don't like them so I'll use them my least favorite we said right okay so I'll use flamenco which is this greenish color here this one if I'll swipe it it looks pretty on the hand it looks very very dark you can see it's in the pan it looks greenish if you can see, yeah you can see now see the reflection it looks greenish definitely not looking the same on my hand it looks gray black even if I'll take on the blue next to it which is supposed to be a very vivid blue and I'll swap it here you can see where is the vivid in the blue I don't know I don't like this so as we said my last favorite so flamenco and I'm dipping in like so in the palette and I'm putting it on the outer section of my eye see so dark and I really just touched it like so it's very very dark make it work hopefully like so so I've put this color on the outer third of the lid like so and as I said I intentionally started with the eyes I uh, don't see much of a fallout so far, just a tiny bit here, but it's better to be safe than sorry, and if you're doing a heavy eye, always begin with the eyes. So, next, cup, next up, I'll use, I see something that works from the Paris by Focolour. I have this color here, this, this greenish color that I don't really like. I'll swap it. It's very, very light. I don't know if you, oh, you can see it like this. Yeah, I don't like it. Uh, and I don't like the application. I think I'll use my finger for it. And I'm going to put it in almost two third of my eyelid it's sticking but it's very hard to apply it now I'm taking so much and it's like it takes forever to put it on I still feel the stickiness of the primer, so putting additional primer I don't think would work out and make it better. Just put here and that's it. I'm not a big fan of the eye look that I created. Uh, not so good. No, but let's try something else. Maybe we can salvage this. Maybe something from the Rivera palette. <laughs> let's choose something I don't like. That's a problem because I like most of the colors. The color that I don't really like is the pink one. This. Bahama, but adding a pink to this look will ruin it completely. So we'll pass 
and let's try the wet and wild the wet and wild palette um, let's try this moldy color that i don't don't like at all i'll use a different finger let's swipe it and see what you can see not oh here it is brownish moldish kind of color there's no mirror in the wet and wild so i'll take a mirror from another palette from this four color one okay let's try and salvage this look oh god okay i'm putting a bit on the bluish like so, it's too blue, too blue and I'm trying to reduce the opacity of the blue. It looks like my eyelid is blue, look here and here, okay, it's not really working. So will we call it a bust? Is there a color from Soft Glam that I don't really like? Yes, but it's not going to work out with this color scheme. See, it's supposed to be green. It's not green. It's more like a black kind of color. So I'll if to salvage the look i would take some gold but i love gold so i can't really use it it will be cheating and we're not going to cheat so i'll come back to this paris palette by four color and take this color by the green i don't like it either it's very hmm. it's, i don't know it's supposed to be bronzy I don't like it so much. Let's try on my eyelid. And oh, it's turned out goldy. Mm, disgusting. Disgusting, disgusting. I don't like it at all. <laughs> it's turned out to be a disastrous look <laughs> right if you agree with me write in the comment section down below let's try and use this big fluffy maybe we can rescue and maybe maybe if we'll do something like that it will cover a bit of the Astral bluish color, like so. Okay, in this eye, it looks better. Let's try in this eye. I'm just going back and forth, trying to make it less of a disaster. Okay, so maybe see, let's see if we salvage this look a bit. And let's see about fallout. Yeah, there is a fallout, but minimal. What do you think of the look? Definitely mm, not my forte. So Anyways, we're going to continue with the rest of my face. So I'm going to clean the outer corner which, with the wipe. I'm using a charcoal wipe, just a plain drugstore. And I'm going to clean here and on the other side. Now 
like so and I see the, the fallout is very 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 minimal so I'm just gently very gently cleaning like so okay so we can continue with the rest of the face so for primer I'm using this primer by Maybelline it's called the face studio primer anti-redness primer so I'm putting a bit on the back of my hand like so and I'm taking a brush this one by real technique it's called sculpting brush but I don't use it for sculpting I just use it to tap my primer and minimize the redness on my cheeks well trying to anyway <laughs> okay so I just stepped and what I love about this technique using the primer with the brush is that it locks everything in and the primer helps the makeup to last longer okay so foundation I'm using my beloved L'Oreal inflammable uh, 24 hour fresh wear and taking a few pumps in the back of my hand and a sponge there's nothing different than what I usually do um, I'm not going anywhere special so I'm just putting a light coat like so tapping motions helps to make an even coat I don't like using a brush for the foundation I definitely prefer the sponge like so an even coat that's what we're looking for not looking for a heavy coat just an even one a bit on my a bit on my neck so I won't. There won't be such a big difference between the neck and the rest of my skin, which is Corona White. <laughs> um, okay, next up, as you probably imagine, concealer. I have this by L'Oreal as well, inflammable, more than concealer, in the color 333 Cedar. And I'm taking a little bit, a dot here, a dot here. If you put more than that, it will go directly in the little creases under the eye. And that is definitely not pretty, I assure you. Um, the eye look is growing on me. Especially when I had that awful turquoise and now it looks wearable. Okay, so concealer under the eyes and powder. I'm using this by Focalure. Flawless setting powder. Bang, bang, bang. And um, there is a little sponge here. Comes with it. I never tried it actually. Let's try it. Why not? Mm -hmm. Let's try half a face with this, half a face with the brush. Okay, so half of the face I did with this sponge that comes with the powder and the uh oh I have to take some more material this is in the color 01 transparent and I'm taking my huge brush and oh doing the other 
other side. With the huge brush, huge brush because it's huge, it's humongous, as you can see, it takes less time than with this funny little sponge. Okay, oh, also a bit of uh, powder under my eyes. I'm going to take a bit, a small amount of powder and I'm going to tap it under my eyes, a very small amount. If I take a heavy coat, it will be disastrous. We'll take this sculpturing color from this set by Foucault. Sculpt glow in the color 03. We'll take an angle brush and sculpt. Remember, sculpting goes under the cheekbone. This is not good with the little mirror. I'm using the bigger one. I'm doing it under. It's a very pretty color, very cool toned brown, as you can see. It's exactly what you need for contouring and sculpturing. Okay, uh, next up, uh, I did, I intentionally didn't do here, I'm going to do it with my bronzer. I have this bronzer by Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's called Powder Bronzer in the color Rosewood. And I'm taking my big fluffy brush and I'm tapping some above my cheekbone and around my face like so. Take some more. Now I look much, much more tanned than at the beginning of the video when I was completely white. Okay, now I'm taking this blush by Pupa. It's called Luminisi Velvety Baked Blush. I don't know if the color 525. Maybe this is the color. And I'm taking another fluffy brush. Oh, it looks very, very intense. So, oh, definitely intense look. Uh, good thing I didn't put it on my face. So what I'm doing, I'm just taking the axis on the back of my hand. And now on the apples and upwards. Apple and upwards. Like so, time for highlighter. And I have this highlighter, highlighter in this set by Focolor. I'm going to put a very tiny bit. Not, f I don't feel very glowy. I don't want it to be too, too much. So just a bit and on my nose, like so. So. What we have left to do is to put mascara on and I'm using my favorite as you know if you're following me this is the Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect um, I love it because look at the brush it's a small brush it helps with the application of the mascara so I am starting with the base of my eyelid and I'm doing like so turn out a very very heavy coat if you can see now you can see one eye with mascara one eye without mascara you can see the difference and I'm doing the same thing on the other side. I'm starting at the base of the lash and I'm twisting it like so. Okay. 
and even though I've put just one coat look how beautiful it is it lifts my lashes and it's given it a very 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 heavy coat even though I used one, just one okay so next up well we have the lips I have this set from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I was wondering what to use it has three colors there's a goldy color oh, it doesn't want to come out of the set okay here we go we have a goldy color a pearl color and a red color burgundy let's swatch it this is uh, yeah, you can see it's very pearly, it's gloss basically, then we have the goldy, hmm. see the goldy, and the last one is the burgundy, Ooh, it's very very dark. Which one goes with this look? Hmm, what do you think? Oh, I wish you were here to let me know what you think. I take this burgundy color. Ooh. Very, very dark. I didn't use a liner. I don't have a liner in a similar shade oh my god look now half and half okay whoa very intense color okay so this is the final look and again, I didn't put anything on my lower lash line because I prefer it like so. You know what you think? Is it better to leave it bare on the lower lash line or maybe cover it? I don't know. I really don't know what is... Well, maybe. You know what? We are in the middle of uh, trying things anyways. So let's try and put some on um, let's take a very small brush and put some of this flamingo from BH Cosmetics that I use on my upper lid I'm going to put it and I'm going to okay looks best better what is this here is doing here? So I'm putting it in the outer corner. It's a very very small amount. Of course it would be better to do this before you put on your makeup. But I wasn't planning on doing so, so okay, so we'll take the same brush and just clean it a bit on the back of my hand. And which oh I used the Paris one right this greenish color here on the Paris palette and I'm putting it oh, you see nothing thick another brush smaller one let's try again Okay, so what do you think? You liked without anything on the lower lash line or with some color on the lower lash line? I have to say that this uh, greenish is not so visible on the Lower lash line. Well, this is the final look. 
I hope you enjoyed it. I know I did. I was looking for something to set my mind at ease and playing with color is always my favorite thing to do. So don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. If you like this video, give us a, a thumbs up, write something in the comment section down below and I'll catch you all in my next video. Bye!